chopping wood, chopping wood. You can help her build that. Alright, good. Chopping wood. We need to... We want to get attacked. Alright. Next day, next day. Well, here's something the zombies can't stop. Olaf and Kelly have fallen in love and want to get hitched. A wedding would be just what we need. Seeing these two in love will remind us of what we're fighting for. Uh, hold a small wedding under a tree. Have a crazy party. Ten food. How much food? Alright, that's fine. Have a crazy party! Love is something to celebrate. We had a big party and danced the night away. Good. Done. Um... Good, so we cleared out these zombies. We should keep an eye on these things to try and keep the population down, I think. In the meantime, oh, let's talk to you. What do you have for us, Carlos? Well, I suppose it doesn't really hurt to tell you at this point. I used to be an agent in service to the Vatican. I was responsible for covert operations on the Holy See's behalf dealing with things that could prove embarrassing to the higher-ups. Oh, don't act so surprised, it's not like other countries didn't have their own spy networks. Ours was just a little more devout than some others, alright. Ninja. No penalty for how far away a mission is. No. Melee training. Sure, done. Melee training. Uh, we're gonna take out these zombies. Like, now. Apparently that's not enough soldiers. Alright, that's enough soldiers. We're gonna be more aggressive in dealing with zombies. Uh, Alright, and next day... Seems Gustav caught wind of our power plant trouble, and it just so happens Gustav's group have the MacGuffin part we need to get the plant running again. All he's asking for is a small donation of tin medicine in return for handing it over. Of course we could just take the part from him by force, he doesn't have that many guards with him, no, we would make our own. Gustav was surprised that we didn't want to buy the part off him after all, I guess now he's wondering what the heck he's going to do with such a specific item. Yes, yes. But we're already halfway through making it ourselves, so it's not like we need it from him. Uh, alright, keep shooting those zombies. Alright, here we are. So we're going to... You go back to chopping wood. And you're gonna make infinite ammo. And in fact, I might just use some building traps. In fact, help, help him make ammo. How long does it take to craft one? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, next day. We killed all those zombies. All for one and one for all. Counselor McGee's been trying to put together a newsletter in her spare time, just for fun, but it's going to take her ages to get that together all by herself. Should we find some people to help her out? Get her to work with the team. I assigned Nicoly Higgins to help with the project, and the two of them seem to hit it off. In fact, I think Commander McGee learned something about the value of working with the team, and will be more of a team player from now on. Gain team player perk. Oh, good. That's good. Uh, that's not good over there. That's not good. Look at that. That is a not good situation. Oh, that's fine. Alright, never mind. That's fine. Uh, well, since we just cleared that out, I guess we should... Reclaim this. Not you though. You're gonna attack that along with other people. Like that. Let's talk to you. What do you have? Uh, have I ever told you about my old buddy Dan? Great guy. We were part of a child protection services. The last day I saw him, we got a call about two, two kids found crying beside a road. Seems they run away after the parents had attacked them. The farmhouse we went to check out looked almost picturesque, painted sky blue, sitting on top of a small hill in the middle of a green field. It was the only blood splatter. It was only the blood splatter on the white picket fence that broke the illusion. Huh. Pacifist. Factions like you more, but no bonus from weapons. Uh no. Firearms training. No melee training. 
melee training, but I don't have a weapon for you. Hmm. Anyway, done. So we should get back to work with uh, claiming more land, I think. Uh, yeah. Alright, next day. Zombies killed, zombies killed, chopping wood, zombies killed, dangerous mass and zed. So I'm gonna reclaim you, and I'm gonna reclaim you. Alright, good. Just keep pushing this way. That's the plan. And also keep an eye on the zombie population. Over here. Hell Jin Jiang caught a spy hanging out at the power plant. Well, first the man caught him, springing out of nowhere, and pressed a knife against his neck. But Hell was fast, calling on some long lost childhood martial arts training, which uses the attacker's strength against him. In a second, he had the spy pinned down and the knife at his neck. That's how we found them. Now, what do we do with this mysterious stranger? Question him. The spy was surprisingly talkative once we offered him a comfy chair and a glass of water. You just have to know how to make people feel comfortable, you know. Oh yeah, he admitted, they sent me to totally screw up your deal here. He said that he could... He said that could be anything from attracting zombies to a weak spot in the walls to sabotaging important missions. We took his stuff and sent him back empty-handed. He promised not to come back, but I wouldn't count on it. Minus five faction strength. They're trying to sabotage our stuff? Dude, you don't want to do that. Uh, anyway, we caught him. I think we're gonna have to kill these two other factions at some point. Maybe not these guys. Probably the Luddies. The Luddies are... Not a fan of the Luddies. Uh, gender roles. Some folks feel that our women should be shielded from the horrors of the fight against the undead. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? <laughs> um, that way they can focus on supporting our families and keep the fort running smoothly from the inside. Others think women are just as fit to carry the gun and blow the faces off things. And hint that men should do more of the cooking and cleaning around here. It's a bit late to be protecting them from the zombies, you know what I mean? Uh, people can do what they want, everyone does chores and guard duty. Women should stay safe at home. People can do what they want. Everyone does chores. People can do what they want. No change in happiness. So, where do we set these policies, by the way? How do I... Resources, government. Balanced. Guards 5, defense 100%, nearby Z 40. Recent happiness, I'm lonely. This one was better when I was small. Yeah, you guys shut the hell up, alright? Manually equip items, put criminals in jail. I, I don't I don't care that much. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care enough to look carefully at that. Alright. So... Oh, we, we killed all these guys. Alright, good. So we're going to... Reclaim that. What do you have to say for yourself, Lieutenant Hellman? Me and the mates were sailing not too far off the coast in international waters when we caught sight of this cruise liner that looked to be drifting. Being the charitable souls we were, we went over to see if there was anything we could do, uh, we could do to help. Once on board, we decided to split up to look for survivors. I get stuck with Drunk Larry and his itchy trigger finger again. Haha, <laughs> they're pirates! Uh, not to say there wasn't a benefit this time, what with all the undead we ran into not 10 minutes later. But usually we end up with way more bodies on than hostages with that shotgun of his. Uh, order? Extra building materials or scavenging? No. Let's go for firearms training. Not that we have any firearms to give him. Alright, so can we take out these zombies? We can. Let me just uh, do more zombie thinning out duties. Zombies killed, zombies killed, chopping wood. Alright, you keep killing zombies over here. And we're gonna claim all this territory for ourselves. 
Hey, that's mine. I would have thought the Luddies would have been happy to have the Zed cleared away from their wars. But it seems they're all in a lather about us claiming the 812 more next mark next to the 812 mark next to the fort. I'm half tempted to just open the gates and let the zombies take it back, but that wouldn't do either of us any good. We're keeping the mart, and you can be sad if you want, but I don't care. So if you take territory from next to the uh, next to the AI or the other factions, they will get sad. But we're going to continue to do it because who's going to stop us? Am I right? Uh, all right. So you you will kill the zombies there. You will kill the zombies there, and I guess we'll take this one while we're here. I might take that too at, at some point. Uh, let's scout there, sure. Alright, next day... Spotted resources, zombies killed, spotted food. Motel reclaimed, warehouse reclaimed, apartment reclaimed. Chopping wood, zombies killed, zombies killed, chopping wood. How do you ally with them? <laughs> I guess we need to send somebody over there to talk to them. Meet with, raid. Better scavengers steal more stuff, attack. Reclaims their building if adjacent to our fort. Huh. Let me just go meet with them, see what they have to say for themselves. Uh, in the meantime, we will kill these zombies. And let me just scout these places out. We are probably going to end up attacking them at some point. Now you can reclaim that. And you can, uh, no, you can attack here attack those guys. Next day. Meet with the Luddies. We need a hundred respect to suggest an alliance. The Luddies directed me to a back field where Owen Ludd was working, saying he's out there somewhere, man. Go find him yourself. I did. He was in a cornfield, all worked up and angry, spraying the plants with the pungent citronella mist and shouting, do you like that, huh, you ugly little aphids? Well, don't mess with Lud because there's more where that came from. Uh, talk with Lud. Lud wanted to talk about our policy on private property. He's concerned that we haven't considered the social ramifications of the way we are headed with it. In short, he thinks that we should change it to people share all resources. I'm not sure there's really any sort. That's any of Luddy's business. Uh, come back later. I was treated to that guy Lud's rambling theories when I met with the Luddies today. He thinks the Center for Disease Control created zombieism as a kind of weapon against the US secret Cold War against China. Now he also says a CDC scientist named uh, Bayoni used to live right here in Wenatchee. I remember hearing about that guy on the news a few weeks before the disease got here. He was worked by the he was wanted by the federal police and they offered a reward for his location. It's too late for that reward, but this scientist might know about a cure. Or at least have some answers. Encourage Lud to keep talking. Lud leaned in close, his eyes bulging. Zombieism was an inside job, man. You know how I know they created it? Because Atlanta was hit first. That's the CDC headquarters. He figures they created the disease to launch against China, who we all know was breeding smallpox. Dr. Ibayonis Abayani's team was adapting it into a mind control virus that would make people docile and complacent. He set it loose and that's why the feds were after him. They were going to put it in the water, man, turn us all into zombies. Ask that kid Rufus over at St. Michael's. Abayani was his dad. Well, that's interesting. So I don't know if I am supposed to, like, uh, keep trying to build up their respect. 37% respect. 70% respect. We need 100% respect to to get an alliance with them. 
which I don't think we're going to get anytime soon. So the question is, do we attack them? Do we attack them or not? That's really the uh, the question. All right, scout this out. And uh, I suppose I'm going to attack there. We're not going to bother scavenging very much. I don't know if I should attack them or not. I don't know. Well, let's rebuild the power plant. Rebuild the power plant, see if the power plant actually makes any difference in the game. Uh, nothing else to do here. Let me just keep killing zombies on our boundary. Uh, Katie's Katie got into a bit of accident today. She found a cruiser motorbike that still had some gas left in the tank and decided to take it for a joyride. Her crash in the farm was fairly spectacular. I'm still amazed she was able to walk away from it. The vehicle wasn't so lucky. The weird thing is the crash revealed this bricked up door we hadn't seen before. While I'd like to see what's behind it, I could have sworn I heard something moving on the other side. Should we open it or seal it back up? Open the door... The door led somewhat anticlimactically to a musty old storeroom. Aside from a few cockroaches, it didn't look like anyone had been down there in months, if not years. What we did find were crates of canned goods, medical supplies, and ammo. We're going to be celebrating tonight, canned spaghetti for all. It's not that much, it's like 5 food, 2 medicine, and 3 ammo, it's like nothing. Oh, look! There's people here. Alright, let's go... Let's go recruit them. Great. Uh, we're going to claim this. And uh, keep killing zombies. I should probably kill those zombies. Alright, all of that is good. Alright, next day. Zombies killed. Zombies killed. Alright, you can reclaim this. Chopping wood. Zombies killed. Okay, that was from before. Uh, you're right. That's going well. I'm gonna kill these zombies. Next day. I would have thought the Luddies would have been happy. Alright, we, we're keeping the parking lot. Convince them it's okay. Oh, let me just convince them it's okay. <laughs> we talked them into letting us have the parking lot, saying we've got their back and all. Lud was a tad mistrusting of us as neighbors with good reason. But he'll come around once he gets to know us a little better. Alright. So we have eight leadership now, and we can talk them into letting us have everything. Um, recruitment, we're going to bribe them with food because we have extra food anyway. Great, so we're going to claim this place and uh, we are going to kill the zombies out here, I guess. And everything else is fine for now. Our scavenger. Hey. I mean, since we're not doing anything out here anyway, you can scavenge over here for us. Alright, next day. Underage drinking. Rufus and a couple of young St. Michael's schoolboys came around, wistfully peeking over the walls at our bar. They asked if there was any way we could slip them a beer, or six, or twelve. They said they'd give us their totally rad bazooka in trade for some. These kids are twelve years old, thirteen at best, far too young to be drinking, right? So I noticed they aren't too young to have pistols on their hips. Let's give them the booze, because if they like kill themselves drinking, then there's less of them we have to deal with. Nice. The kids were happy with the bottle of skank mezcal we gave them. They're probably going to go down to the old rail yard now and drink and throw rocks at Zed. Ah, uh, youth. Rufus turned over the bazooka to us, which turned out to be the name of a 12-year-old bulldog they found. The old beast still has a little fight in her, but mostly all she does is sleep, snore loudly, and fart. Welcome to the team, Bazooka. Minus 10 food, plus 10 faction, I mean, plus 5 faction respect. And 1 equipment. That's good. That's good, we could use that. D 
Dean Sampson, actually, you should have a backpack. Uh, you should have the backpack. Yes. What does that do? Oh crap! You have a daughter. Never mind. You can have your daughter back. <laughs> Just took your daughter away from you. I <laughs> uh, uh, never mind that one. So who doesn't have equipment? You don't have equipment. What is bazooka? Plus two defense and pet owner. There you go. You can have a pet. You can have a backpack. I don't know why you would have a backpack, but there you go. You have a backpack now. I hope you're happy. Ah, uh, there's a zombie horde. That's gonna cancel some of our missions, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a pain. But I guess it's okay. 